What's up, guys? This is Matt from American Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have a video for you guys and an article talking about Harrison Floyd. He is one of the 19 people that's in uh, being prosecuted in uh, Georgia. And now they want to bring him in this uh, case in D.C. with Jack Smith. Well, mm. they sent the FBI to go and confront him. And let's just say I believe it's a setup in order to make him uh, have to be arrested. Uh, th th this was a setup by the FBI, in my opinion, when I look at the video. Yeah, you know, Matt, it's absolutely sickening and disturbing that the FBI has become a political institution instead of law enforcement. Let's take a look. But before we do, uh, just let you guys know, after this happens uh, with the FBI, with the confrontation, he calls the local cops to come in. And when the cops come in, and he talks to them. He tells them, uh, they tell him, hey, we got a complaint from the FBI that you assaulted them, so we have to arrest you. So, oh, my God. Edited police body cam footage of Harrison Floyd released after unidentified FBI agents try to serve subpoena in Jack Smith's case. Harrison Floyd was among the 19 individuals indicted in Georgia in the racketeering case brought by the politically charged Fulton County District Attorney. But after Floyd turned himself in on August 24th, he would become the only one of the 19 who was initially denied bail. Six months earlier in February, Floyd was approached at his apartment building by two FBI agents to serve him with a federal grand jury subpoena. According to Floyd's attorney, however, the agents never displayed their credentials and audio recordings from the incident confirm that. The FBI, for some reason, is not required as a whole to wear body cams for accountability. Yesterday, Politico released edited clips of the body cam footage from the Rockville Police Department in Maryland after Floyd called them once the unidentified men left the apartment complex. It shows uniformed officers who initially responded just after noon on February 23rd, followed by detectives who later returned with an arrest warrant shortly after 8 p.m. Uh, body cam footage has been released about the altercation Trump Georgia co-defendant Harrison Floyd had with Jack Smith's Gestapo police. Harrison Floyd was out walking with his daughter and two FBI agents were following him with their guns drawn. They didn't show badges. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the video. I don't know what that is. I'm not touching it. I'm not picking it up. Let's warn you. Sorry. Let me put on a shirt real quick. Yeah. Wait, can I just have to get my daughter walking? No, just, TV just hang on a second. So these guys, my mother-in-law called me earlier today. She said two men showed up, uh, gave her a card. She didn't know if it was real or not. And they said they're trying, or they want to talk to me. I took my daughter to the Goldfish Swim School. Yeah. I came back and there's these two guys who are standing so across the street. So we just, we just um, they came here, they followed me here. Yeah, so I'm coming down the side. These two guys and suits just run at me. I started yelling at one of them, like, who the fuck do you think you are? You're... Yeah, uh, I haven't seen any guy actually ever told me anything. I don't know who you are. You're fucking grabbing, grabbing, and touching me. I'm my daughter. Who the fuck? And then one of them is on the stairs. Has a, he goes like this, and he has a pistol in his hand. I never saw a badge. Yeah. I saw a fucking gun, though. I saw a fucking gun. You would think, too, like, I'm, like, don't want to talk to you engage with you, and they're, like, chasing me. Like, you probably want to, like, stop, disengage, like, okay, this probably isn't the way, you know, or, or if you see a guy walking with this fucking kid, they were fucking relentless, and um, they better be glad I didn't have my daughter with me, because if you hey, if you if they ran, ran up on me on the street like that and not showing me a badge and trying to corner me like that, it would have turned the other way real quick. Did you chase after him in the way and have a confrontation with him? I, Did you get in anybody's face? And I don't, I did not, I did not push, I did not shut, I didn't touch, I don't, I think I need to let my lawyer have a further conversation well, with you guys. Listen, I am a detective from Montgomery County, here's my badge, these guys are officers from Rockville City and the city of FBI. Yeah, I do have an arrest warrant for you right now. Okay. okay. So, here's, I'm hoping you can be a gentleman, listen, yeah. it's for a second degree assault. I'm going to run that call and I, ask for I, help. I, I understand. I have my daughter, there's a camera downstairs. Okay. 
absolutely effing disgusting. Okay, to give everyone a little bit of context, Mr. Floyd is fighting his Georgia case by exposing election fraud in Georgia in 2020. Okay, that is the reason he's being treated like this by the FBI. Because, of course, we know the FBI isn't a law enforcement agency only. It's a political uh, institution. It has a chip in the big game. Okay, they back the Democratic Party. And this is retaliation, plain and simple, for Mr. Floyd's defense. And in my opinion, Matt, these FBI agents should be reprimanded. Anybody who issued arrest, an arrest warrant should be held accountable. Um, this is a, just absolutely unacceptable. I would actually go with it being entrapment. And the reason is, is because they approach him on the street with his child in his arms. She was two years old without uh, saying who they were. Approached him, grabbed him, touched him, him and We're his kid. Yes. And he got upset and he took off like anybody would. And he got to he got to his uh, uh, residence where he lived, left his child, came out. They left and left the papers on the ground. He calls the police. So they come and check it out. And the police arrest him for assault. This, in my opinion, the reason they set it up like this is because when it comes to what was going on in Georgia, uh, he actually got a uh, a plea deal. He could have done a plea deal. He told him to go pound sand. Now, part of that plea deal would not only get rid of the charges that's going on in Georgia and lower him down to a misdemeanor, but this charge would have went away. It's just that he would have he would have had to give up uh, his ability to not ha have to testify in other court cases. He would have to testify in other court cases against Trump. Uh, just like Cheeseboro's doing right now when it comes to these electoral uh, 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 cases that are going on in Michigan, Nevada, mm -hmm. and other places. Yeah. He's testifying. And he, they would also use him there uh, for the Jack Smith case as well. That's the main reason these people were there was for the Jack Smith case. So I think that was their plan all along to entrap him, to make, force him to go for a plea deal to go and testify against these uh, ele uh, electors, also against uh, Donald Trump and the, Jan and the uh, January 6th case in, in D.C. That was their plan, and let's just say it fell off the rails when he told them to go pound sand. Yeah, isn't it odd that the one guy who's not willing to take a plea deal, um, a sweetheart plea deal, but is instead putting forth his own defense, which revolves around, hey, the, the election in 2020 in Georgia was fraudulent. It's not legitimate. And so, of course, they want to pressure this guy into making a deal so they don't have to dig into the 2020 election in court. Well, he turned him down flat. So it doesn't look like that's going to work out very well for the FBI and the facts from Georgia are we've talked about it for the last couple of weeks but they're going to come out in court there's a lot of other stuff isn't public yet none of it is going to reflect very well on the secretary of state brad raffensperger the governor kemp um pretty much the entire election in 2020 in the state of georgia was shit. it was fraudulent and it never should have been certified. And before we end uh, this video, there's one last thing I want to add into there as a caveat. And that is, I think FBI agents from now on, somehow law needs to be put in place either by Donald Trump or uh, by whoever wins this uh, race in, in 2024. It's probably going to be Donald Trump. If he doesn't get rid of the FBI altogether, I'm hoping they put a law where uh, FBI, when they come in, issue a warrant or something like that anything that, uh, that's dealing with the public they have to wear a body camera because it, it, they're not b being accountable for anything they're doing at this point when it comes to when it comes to when they go and do an arrest warrant or go and uh actually confront someone yeah no you're spot on matt 
everyone in law enforcement is wearing a body camera now. It's standard gear. Isn't it funny that the FBI doesn't wear body cameras? Almost like they don't want a record of what they said or did. Yeah, they don't hmm. want you to know what you, they don't want you to know what happened at that point. But guys, this is the end of the video. We'll really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you'll know when we make new content. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Have a wonderful rest of your day.